Yo, yo, yo. What's good, Brooklyn boys? Radio back with another episode, sitting here with Pretty, Pretty, Pretty. Dang. Yeesh. What's poppin'? in charge. What's up, yo? You good? I'm good. I'm chilling. Give more pound for me. I feel what's like something. Good, what's here. good? <laughs> okay, he said give more pound for you. Gotcha. <laughs> what's poppin' with you, man? Chilling out here, working. I'm moving. You know, we like to have ladies on the set, so when we had the opportunity to get you on the set, I was like, ah, right, yeah, let's get on the set, because we get to have you know, that male and female interaction. Need to be right. a balance because it'd be too much testosterone <laughs> on this so we, set. So I got too much. Ah, We're going to balance it out. We're going to balance it out. Like a Dungeon Dragon. You ready for this roller coaster ride? Yeah, I'm going to bring the estrogen. Let's go. Right, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what's popping? See, you took them big shades off, though, B. My shades is popping now. I'm not saying they're not popping. We want to see the pretty face, though, baby. Come That's here. fine, but you know, like, you guys, you guys got your sneakers, I got shades. Y'all got your fitties and shit. You got shit. a pair of Gucci sneakers on Nah, but I'm into shades. Like, that's my thing. It makes you look like a bumblebee. But I... <laughs> <laughs> but I love it though. Like I probably got like thirty-two pair of designer shades. God damn, Rick Ross. Yeah, you pay, you pay for them all, yeah. yeah cash. I know y'all young people be on. We do, but nah, I pay for oh, them. Okay, cool. You was like, I'm big on shades. I spend my say, money on I'm some shades. You a hammer scammer? <laughs> I mean, if somebody come to me like, listen, I could get them for half off. Oh, I'm getting right. it for you know sure. What's the crazy thing, like, like with our generation, it was just selling drugs a mile a minute. Y'all don't really sell drugs. No, you know what it is. It wasn't like manly to scam. I don't know if it was that it wasn't like manly. I just think that we just weren't onto it, you know. They didn't um, have no computers. <laughs> yeah, what's the scam? Like, wait, how old are y'all? Forty six. Forty six. Both of them. Okay. Okay. Closest I got the scam, and I was going. I used to take the food stamps and take them to the store for half price. <laughs> no, <but I laughs> y'all ain't had the counterfeits, once, man. No, once the two th once the two thousands came, dude started printing checks. And all of that. Mm. Checks. And I used to, like I told y'all before, I used to sell people kids for You used to sell tax. people kids. <laughs> <laughs> income tax, Ooh, man. Wait, yeah, no, like, wait, wait. You didn't even put that in here. No, you said I, 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 I used to sell wait, people Wait, sell people kids, kids is crazy. That sounds crazy. Woo, 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 woo. No, no, no. We can bring it back. No, I'm being funny. Income tax, you know, I find somebody with some kids. You know what I'm saying? We know what you're saying. It just sounded crazy. Yeah, you know, but that's the scam that I had. But otherwise than that. If you want to buy a child, how much that? No Big fives and tens. Um, I thought that was a way back then thing. It, it was a way back then thing, but it just, we didn't have access to that. Yo, can okay. I tell you a story? I know this ain't Toy Simon with Styles already in the beginning of the show, but <laughs> one time I caught myself, I had this chick that worked in a, in this store, and um, she would get like credit card numbers, right? Like, they, you remember back in the days you had the machine that, they took your card much yeah, yeah, like that and yeah. le left you to print out mm -hmm. all the information. What's it called? The black box. Mm. So she used to give me the black box back in the day, right? So I used to take the the uh, the, the little printout, and I used to help people pay like a phone bill and light bill. When you used but to come back. But it, but it was it was it was short lived, because everybody light bill I paid and they gave me their money. The person reported the credit card and the charges came back. Facts. <laughs> So I had to give him, so I didn't really know what I was doing, but yeah, it got short lived. But yeah, that's what I was doing. Uh, yeah. But it didn't really work out for me. Styles the around. scammer. Styles the bad scammer. <laughs> Styles the bad scammer. That's what I was. Listen, man. you, sh you sh shot your shot. It is what it is. It is what it is. But look, check this out, right? I want to jump straight into these topics because we got you here. I got a lot of man, woman, girly topics I want to get into, but I want to okay. get these things out the way. So, real quick, uh, on celebrity news, real quick, I seen rapper Slim Thug. Uh, said that he's gonna shoot his stalker the next time she walks in his house unannounced because she's been stalking him for a while. He said uh, he she tore up his Escalade and you know what I mean, and they they arrested her. But if she come back to his house and he on his property, he said he's gonna shoot. What you think about that, Mo? Like, I mean, at this point, if she's been popping up for a while, it's not a relationship. <laughs> I was gonna say like, is that his honey? Like, wait. Now, the next he, now, time, like what? I don't think. I don't think she. I think she. He said, "What I think she said." Uh, don't quote me. Uh, but um, that she had like mental illness or something like that. But you want to hear what's crazy? So you gonna shoot a mental patient? Hold on, hold on. You know what's crazy? What's that? Yanni, you remember when that woman tried, had plans to kidnap me in L.A.? And I was like, <laughs> I was like, ah, right, she'd have got the surprise of her life because I'd have gotten that car and I'd have whooped her ass, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, la the lady, though, a woman. Yeah. Why not? You don't know if she gonna stab you when she walk in the room or what she gonna do? If he clap, he clap her. What do you... I think they have a previous relationship. I, I don't know. Oh, I didn't no, see that. he said he said he, they had that picture of them outside the club, and he said he said you know how many 
pictures I take with people outside the club. Like, because okay, yeah. in, in the picture, it didn't look like they really knew each other. He was just standing next to her. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, it's got, well, listen, she get clapped and she come back in my house. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I don't know I what mean, she going to do. Yeah, no, that's, that's right. To you, each his own. I mean... You, you know what it is, too? I think, like, as men, because I remember I had this woman that used to send me DMs, right? And, and it would literally be pictures of her, like, at the corner of my crib, straight up, mm -hmm. all the time, right? And I think as men, a lot of times, we don't yeah, take it seriously. How do you know where you live at? Bruh, every, son. But anyway, well, that's I, true too. I think as men, we don't take it serious enough. Because in my mind, I never felt threatened by that. It was like, I wish she would run up on my... Like, yeah, I wish somebody would woman, try like, that. You understand what I'm saying? She shoot you with a pole by your head when you get this car. <laughs> yeah, bro, you know, and, and I think as men, we don't take that seriously. You know? Yeah, I guess so. When we, 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 we hear as a woman, we like, ah, oh, shorty can't do nothing. But yeah, shorty might hurt no, you. But I think, a lot of times, even if, I think a lot of times, even if it's a dude, I'd be like, yeah, right, bro, you go ahead and try that. You understand what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. we don't take it seriously, you know? You never had nobody stalk you, did you? Of course, but I don't know. It's a little bit flattering. Was he a friendly stalker? He was a friendly like stalker. Yeah, like, I never hey, had. Yeah, I never had like a oh, like okay. a scare me. Like, no, I'm lying. In middle school, I was scared to death. I won't say his name because he's super nice, but he was like scary. People stalking people it was in it was school? given. I was diamond in players club, and it was like Byron. What you doing? Like, what you doing, Byron? <laughs> Byron! Like, what's going I on? I just want to talk to you, Diamond! <laughs> yeah, it was okay. really giving out. Like, he was following me home from school because I was, I'm was i a nice person. So, it was like, was I know he, you like me. I'm not going to be an like asshole. Huh? Was he, like, 25 years old? No, we, he was actually probably one year older than me. We was in well, middle school. Okay. Well, back then, dudes was showing up in middle school 25 years old with their cars outside. So, you I mean, know. Yeah, you right. She didn't want him because he had no car. But, um, no, I didn't want him I'm, because I'm joking, I'm I was joking, gay. I'm joking. You was what? I was liking girls. Okay. From young, so, I was. Are you still? I still date women, but I I started dating guys too. So you bisexual? Yeah, but I would prefer to be with a woman. So you just playing with dudes? Emotionally. Nah, not playing, but I just I don't know. Like I'm, you know how you will see a woman and be like, oh she look good. Like it's it's just instinct. Like it's natural to you. It's natural for me to do that to a woman as well. It's not natural well, for me to see a nigga like that. Yeah, that nigga but I also but I also think that women look so. Good and so sensual that I think even a woman has to recognize another yeah, woman's beauty. Ex exactly. Right. This is what I want to tell you. My name is C Styles, <laughs> and I'm a lesbian. Me too. I was to say, you got something coming. I'm a full He does not feel good. I feel <laughs> like, no, for <laughs> real. Because girls be front and man, are like, right? I would never, I don't play that. I don't eat this. I don't do that. It's like, it's a woman for everybody. Like, 100%. I really truly believe that. I'm gonna bring you home. This, you sound crazy. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> I, I never heard that one. Hey, you don't think so? Perfect. You said there's a woman for every woman? Like, I feel like, you know how girls be just like, oh, I'm not into that. Like, I would never, like, what? Ew, no. I like, I'm strictly dickly. Like, no, I think that's a, I think that's a part. So you think every woman? Is yeah, gay. because I've pursued multiple Some single. I mean, straight woman, and it's happened. Happy. So it's like, how you? I don't want to cut you. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and please leave a comment. I want to get questions on this, ladies. Let us know. Are all of y'all gay? We want to know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. They gonna front about it. I don't know. We why want to inquiring like, minds want to know. Yeah, we definitely I want to know. know. I'm. Do you? You don't think so? Listen, I would love it to be that way. You know they start in the Especially club, they be drunk, they start kissing and shit, and it's just like, oh, that's my friend, but like, no. What I will tell you, I think it's crazy with girls, though, that men never do. like Kiss each other and all of that. Kiss each other, smack each other smack on each the other butt, butt. Say, I got to you know, go to the bathroom with me. like. Thank you. That's yeah, what I'm I, saying, not, though. I, like, I had a female friend that used to be like, she just used to walk up to chicks, oh, you got a nice butt. I used to be like, this is Crazy. Right. <laughs> if I did that, it'd be a lawsuit, a, a, a whole arrest happen. Right. Or everybody would be calling you like, oh, like girls would be feeling a certain way. Like, nah, my nigga don't expect this nigga ass. What? You no, said if you, about, no, you no, said if you do it. Oh, oh, no, no, he's talking about doing it to another woman. woman. He, oh, oh, to, oh, I thought you meant to a oh, nah, guy. Yeah, nah, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I, I'm confused. <laughs> I was kind of, got kind of dazed. <laughs> but look, anyway, we'll go to this other real, real, real quick topic. And this is more of a serious piece right here. Well, I don't know if you saw this week the Dalai Lama um, and mm. a young, a little young man, and um, he asked him to kiss him on the cheek. He asked him to suck his tongue. And to suck his tongue. Yeah, and then to kiss him on and the lips. And to suck his tongue. Mm -hmm. And then to suck his tongue. And to suck his and tongue. And said it was like he plays like that. Who plays like what? Yeah, that's. I, I thought that's that was. Crazy. I thought that was egregious. But the parents were present. Let's put that out there yeah, too. Yeah, I, I don't so it says who, a lot about the parents who, as well. Yeah, I don't care who. who I In the name of religion. 
I think everybody should be going down. I think he should have been filed with charges, Absolutely. child abuse charges. Everybody that was there should be with uh, reckless, An endangerment, um, reckless endangerment to a child. I don't even know how you even... That, that, that was just insane to me. How does that even, and, and then you had the audacity to do it on camera. So yeah. if you do that on camera, what do you do off camera? That's right. my question. Uh, no, for real. Uh, yeah, what do you do? Like, what is happening with the Dalai Lama? And he said, that's, yeah, he said, you said it already, he said that's how he plays. Play, what, <laughs> like, what kind what? of, like, yeah, like, fun, like, what kind of game is that, B? I was confused, and I was really disgusted. Do that to my child. I got a game I want to play with you, too. <laughs> like, it's what? It's shoot you. Uh, and the parents said nothing, did nothing. Yeah, that it was, was kind of like, that okay. was kind of egregious, kind of disgusting, and I, I, I'm I'm dead serious, um, America. Everybody, everybody should be filed with charges that allow that to happen in that space. And first yeah. of all, me personally, as a man, I'm not letting my child sit on no old man's lap, bro. It's not happening. That's not ha for what? Not even Santa. I'm about to say no. that. I swear. No, for what? Ooh. I I I never understood. No, I'm not with it. Mm. Not even Santa Claus. Oh, okay. Santa That's Claus weird. might get a pass. I, I, I don't know, but uh, yeah. I was say I was I'm definitely not the Dalai Lama. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny? Definitely not the Dalai Lama. What's wrong with y'all, man? I mean, like because, but like, if you're gonna let Santa Claus, then like, what do you mean? Definitely not the Dalai. Like, I don't get it. No, my kid would never sit on the Dalai Lama's lap. Like, it's definitely <laughs> not, not after this. Not after this. Yeah. Oh, you saying not after this? Yeah, definitely not. The so before this. Before I don't even know who the Dalai Lama, Dalai Lama was. I was going to say. Before you didn't know who the Dalai Lama was? You know who That's I like the Dalai Lama was? You know, nah, you know who I thought the Dalai Lama was? <laughs> From, um, uh, what's, what's Eddie Murphy? I swear you um, played um, too much. The Golden Child. The Golden Child. <laughs> Wasn't that the Dalai Lama? I, 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 I want the knife. knife. <laughs> That's what it is. Please. Yo, <laughs> oh my God. Now, honestly, I didn't know what the Dalai I knew it was, a, I knew if somebody asked me, like, for real, who the Dalai He's Lama, like a religious A religious leader. person, but I don't know what the Dalai like, Lama is. Like, what he is. does, like, what's, like, what's the, Buddhist, like, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, I, yeah. I really don't even know, so. But it didn't matter who he was. It could have been Pope, it could have been the president, it could have been whoever. I could care less. Yeah. I could care less. Children are sacred, it's boundaries. Yeah. Boundaries yeah. you got to have when it comes to these kids, and we got to protect our kids at all costs. I don't, Absolutely. Uh, at all costs, our kids need to be protected. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. This was Conversation Corner with Styles. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, in other news, rapper XXX Tatashion Killers got convicted of life in prison this past week. Yo, I don't know if you've seen that, the judge reading the sentence out to one of the, the, the young homies. It was, um, I don't know if y'all young people are watching. And I really want to get into another conversation that I want to get into today even about that. But he had read the sentence to him. Uh -huh. And I'm like, yo, who want to go to jail? He basically told him, you know, either basically he could take his own life if he chose to, right? Or he's going gonna, he's gonna to wind up in a jail cell a four by whatever cell with an aluminum bed, aluminum sink, and an aluminum toilet. And one day, since there's no parole in Florida, oh, in the state yeah, of Florida, he said they're gonna walk in the cell and find him dead. One day they're gonna walk in the cell and he's gonna find they're gonna find him dead. And that's when he would sir, finally that's when serve he would be leaving jail. Yeah. His sentence. And me hearing that, I was like, yo, who's signing up for that? And I get into that. Um, just because I, you know, this week I got, I think I sent you a couple of, mm -hmm. a bunch of videos, a, a videos of a couple of kids in, in, um, in New York city that was murdered this past week, oh. a couple of videos. And I just want to talk to you young cats for real, for real out here. We got to stop killing each other at an alarm rate. I know on Brooklyn boys radio, we try to have fun, talk some craziness to y'all and, you know, you know, just, you know, just try to have fun with life and make things a lighter subject. But yo, y'all kids gotta think. Y'all getting life in prison, and these people don't want to, they don't even care if y'all die in prison. Y'all, and, and it's so blatant, because it's not like our day, Mo. These kids are literally on camera and don't care. There's no getting away with it these but days. But you know what the problem is? It's back in y'all day, there was no social media. So a lot of shit, a lot of things are glorified because of social media. So you know, like to go to prison, it's like, oh yeah, like. Yeah, but that's see, what's but, up. Nah, but there's, but there's, 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 but there's a difference. No, I'm not saying it's but okay. I'm saying these kids is like but there's brainwashed. A but there's a difference back in our day, because I'll tell you this. Back in our day, we, we didn't even want to take pictures, right? We stayed very aware of the fact that what we were doing could get us locked up. And don't get me wrong. Like, yeah, I had dudes in my camp that dudes that were in and out of jail all the time and didn't give a damn about going to jail. But I know for me, when I hit 
18 years old. By the time I was 18, so many of my peoples was in jail doing 15, 20 years that I, I made the decision that jail wasn't for me. You understand? That's, right. just, that's just not an option for me. And, and I was out there taking unnecessary risks for a large part of my life, you know, but I always put my freedom before money because to me it was like it don't make no sense getting caught with the money because yeah. then I ain't got the money. All right. You know? And and I'm just saying, man, for for y'all youngins out there, like y'all y'all really playing on a playing field where y'all are at a major disadvantage, right? Because Big Brother's always watching. There's an eye in the sky in every single room and on every single street. So the chances of you doing something and getting away with it, man, are very unlikely. And you got to think about this. You may think that you won because you killed your op, but the truth is you also lost because your life is gone now, bro. Mm -hmm. And it's not even that. Big Brother's watching. All y'all telling on each other. I was about to say that. On top right, of that. Y'all doing Big Brother's so job. Y'all doing, y'all got Big Brother, y'all got, y'all telling on each other, y'all life is lost, another kid life is lost, Yeah. a parent, fam, both families are effed up, like this gotta stop, like at some point, we gotta take our life more serious, you gotta take your life more serious, B. And a lot of times you gotta ask yourself too, man, like, like the things the dudes is popping each other over, man, like, is it, is it even worth it? And don't get me wrong. Sometimes, you know, the level of violation, you got to handle your BI. You understand? I, I'll, I'll be the first to say that because I always say, I know all my life, it's ne I've never done what I wanted to do. I've done, I've done what I felt I had to. You understand what I mean? So I know, and a lot of times people will say, oh, that's back to that toxic masculinity. But it's like as a man, you know, it's hard to look yourself in the mirror when you let people get away with certain things. But... Even in the midst of all of that, man, you still got to weigh your options where you it's like, is this, is this worth it? You right. got to weigh your options. Also, uh, I see Pop, Pop Smoke uh, Killer was convicted also. He got only four years in prison, I think because he was a... Uh, and I think he already got three in. Uh, he was a juvenile when the mm -hmm. case happened, so they tried him as a juvenile. And How do you feel <laughs> about that? That's crazy. Yo, four? man. I, I feel like it's it's a crazy situation, right? I feel like Wait, I'm Pops confused. Didn't the Central Park didn't he get like more than four years for rape? Definitely, but um, that's because the victim was, was Blanco. Right, that's what I'm saying. So that's crazy. Like you gave him four years because he was a juvenile. Yeah, I, I don't. Yeah, um, Pop Smoke deserved more than that. Uh, deserve he deserved uh, more than that. Meaning that the kids deserve more years for Pop Smoke life. You know what I'm saying? I can agree. With that, but then at the same time, man, I'd be the first to say, like I always used to tell dudes, like, that's not bringing them back. No, nah, I don't think it's bringing I, them that, back. That's but more, that's more think, for the family the than killer, that's more for the family. I don't um, even think the young man even anything. learns a lesson. A lesson. I was gonna say that four, four years. years. But, you know what I'm but guess what? When you get that young man life in jail, what I'm not saying it? life. Yeah, he, I'm not saying life. he should have got life, but I think he should have got more time to think about, you know, what he did. What he did. You know what I'm saying? I can I can agree with that. Yeah, so, you know, listen, man, you guys, you kids got to make a better decision. We just got to make better decisions of black and brown people out here, too. You know what I mean? Um, but I don't want to sadder the whole situation. And I this was really... Conversation Corner with Style. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really going to get back into asking Miss D some questions. You know what I'm saying? What's up? Talk to me. Um, so one of the first questions I got for you, you know what I mean? Because I've seen this has been a topic for a minute. Do you think there's anything wrong with dealing with men that use meal enhancement drugs, like the honey, some Cialis, some Tiger Ball. What, what's the other joint they be using out there, Mo? Uh, they got all kind of joints. Golden Root, oh, uh, <laughs> all types of stuff. Wow. They got all kind of stuff. So do you got a problem with a dude saying, yo, let me- A man who gets a little help. <laughs> like all the time, or just like on some fun matter. shit? Like, because when Honey came out, it had all of us in the choco. We was just so like, Intrigued, like, what's Yo, you know this the honey? honey? Never worked for me, bro. I was gonna say, it, it honestly it didn't work for a couple of people. It never definitely worked for me. It definitely worked. <laughs> it definitely <laughs> never worked, and, bro. It, it, and it had, and it was laced with Cialis or Viagra, <laughs> word, because I know, because I've tried all of them before. Not because I need <laughs> What <it>. the fuck? <laughs> not because I need it, because I want to have fun. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Excuse but then, what? All of them? Yeah, I've tried uh, half a Cialis, I tried a half a, uh, a Viagra. I tried a half a honey. What's the joint I gave you, Mo? I didn't. Well, I didn't know it was you. You, you gave me was a gummy, and then you told a me a gummy. week later it was Cialis. It was a half a gummy beer. Half a gummy beer. 
And the reason why I say I be knowing they, they lace with something because that Viagra and that, uh, what you call it, they all give me headaches. Mm. So once one of those things give me a headache, you know what's up. I know it's not natural. So okay. when, they, when they be like, oh, this is all natural. Nobody ever said Viagra was natural, bro. No, no, no. I'm talking I'm about the think. honey and oh. the other they stuff. They do have some natural things, though. Like, you know, like the um the black macaroon. Macaroon, Maca yeah, Tonga Ali. Like me and my honey, we, it's not story time yet, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know we got one. But do you find anything wrong with that? Um, Not if it's like to, a fun thing. Not for it to be like, you can't perform without it. Like, come on, bro. You, that's that's crazy. Does it matter if you can't perform Fuck without yes, it? Fuck yes, it matter. Because it's like, now we out the country, ain't no fucking honey. What we supposed to you do? You got to bring it with him. You bring the, you bring what the we deodorant, know? right? Because I'm like, when we on vacation, I'm like... Yeah, but you bought your deodorant on vacation, right? No, but Don't if you run honey. out, who's going to bring a whole box of honey? That's what we going to eat. You're, he you're, is. Now, I never <laughs> bought no box, but it's only three of them. You, like, listen, I travel all the time. That's that's right in the side of the suitcase. If you no, need. but when you're really attracted to somebody on vacation, you kind of sleeping with them a lot. So you, you're going to need like that's the whole box the honey of honey. Like and it could go down any It lasts everywhere. two, three days. Yeah. I just told you it didn't work for some of the people I used to with. Yeah, I get new niggas, man. I don't know what to tell you. I told you that honey shit don't work for me, bro. <laughs> yeah, like a couple. I'm not saying. I just want to know if there's something wrong with it. Like, I, to me, I don't. I guess he's basically saying, so if you was with a dude mm -hmm. and y'all was out or whatever and you about to head to his crib and then somehow, somewhere you find a, a packet of honey in his jacket pocket, like, would you, would you feel a way about that? Mm, no. Or the first Viagra time. or Cialis or... I mean... The Viagra is kind of crazy because it's just like at my age, we look at Viagra like, oh, my granddaddy has some Viagra in his. <laughs> like, you know, it's, it's considered like an mm -hmm. older thing. So at my age, it's like, why you got Viagra? But honey, it was so like, you know, like. But they're both the same thing. No, it is, but I don't know. I like, get what you made saying. it okay. Just, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. The stigma the honey, on, on right. Viagra is more like that's for senior oh, citizens. Right, exactly. So okay. I guess it depends on which one it is. <laughs> How do you feel about it, Styles? You think it's okay? I think pop it out, man. <laughs> if you need, when you in doubt, pop it out. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Um, <laughs> it is what it is. But I had an even crazier thing I want to ask about because I seen that uh, Hulu is um, dropping a new series, a, a doc, a docu series. I think it is. Oh, the '94 Freaknik joint. '94 Freaknik. So mm. and anybody, you, and anybody scared to death. I've been having social media I, in the chokehold. I, I know you a little um, younger for Freaknik, but. Mm. I've been to Freaknik, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Freaknik was no, it was crazy. crazy. It was crazy. <laughs> it was now, like an Atlanta thing, right? Atlanta thing, and down in Atlanta. Okay. Um, we had something up here like that too. What was it called? Um, in Jones Beach, what we used to have? Greek Fest. Greek Fest. Nah, Jones but Greek Fest was nothing like Freaknik. Not Freak like Freak Nick, bro. No, but Greek Fest was. Greek there was Fest, a lot of naked chicks yeah, 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 and all yeah, yeah. that. So Freaknik was like. Freak Nick. Freak Nick was people open literally porno fucking kinda? on the streets, bro. Like, it was. It was crazy. It was just a crazy. Like literally, that's what it was. People. Yes. That's what. You didn't go to jail. You just was. It, it was like a sexual purge. Freaking off. Freaking off. Showing they opening out. they joint, whatever. It was, like, it was crazy. Wow. And, you know, that at that time, you know, I, I see a lot of women, I, and I want to bring this conversation up because I see a lot of older women, they, they, they are now, they online and they're like, yo, I'm scared of my picture might come up. I was there. Um, you know, a video of me might come up now. And I'm laughing because I feel like. Stand on it. Nah, it's not to stand on it. But what's happening? What's gonna happen to this generation right here? <laughs> Everybody out here busting it open, and nobody really takes the time out to think that you're gonna get older, you're gonna have kids, you're gonna have grandkids. What if somebody say, "Yo, we're gonna do, you know, from 2018 to 2025, just everything that was happening on Instagram, every video that you busted open on, and all that stuff." What happens then? Same thing. Yeah, but I think I think I think because of social media, the world has become so desensitized to that mm -hmm. that it doesn't even matter anymore. I don't, right. I don't think no, you can get real. desensitized to your grandchildren watching you do something at that time. I don't I don't think that's how, how do you get desensitized Bruh, you, from that? Because you got you, you got Amber Rose's son de defending her being naked on the yeah, internet. Yeah, but that's I think I think these kids are growing up in a totally different world, bro, and it's a totally different perspective. You know, it's just like us, right? When we grew up. Um, homosexuality wasn't that accepted. This new generation more accepts mm -hmm. that it's simply in, because the, wor the world has changed, like, bro. It's yes, I hear you, but shamefulness and embarrassment is always going to be I, nakedness from the beginning of time. Even when Adam and Eve was here, 
was always shameful. It's never changed. Not anymore. Not, no, not, not, it's not, still, not when you got slut shamings. Not when you got slut walks. No, nah, it, it still is to a certain... Bruh. No, it still is to a certain degree bruh, right looked, now, today. That's, that's looked at... Let me, as, ask, let me that's, ask you a question. That's looked at by, by, by a huge majority of the population as misogyny, bro. It me, is. Let me ask like you a question. Like they tell you, you can't tell a woman what me, to do let, with her body. Let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. So, if your daughter went outside right now and she was butt naked and just shaking her behind, would that be accepted? My daughter wouldn't do that. But I'm actually, would it be accepted? My daughter wouldn't do that. You see what I'm saying to you? Listen, <laughs> right no, listen. That's all I'm my, saying. My, so my, it's still listen, shameful. My, like, my, still... my daughter wouldn't do that. But what I'm telling you is we watch people do that all day, every day. Like I said, I and, think it's... And they have this line of defense, which is slut shaming, which is, you know, you can't tell a woman what to do with her body. You know, once again, you're being a toxic male because you're trying yeah, to control the woman's body. Yeah, but okay, we got D-shares. Let me ask you a question. What, how would you feel if videos and pictures came up to you, if you had videos, I don't know, I haven't seen your Instagram and stuff like that, but if you had these type of things out there and now you're a grandmother, would you care? If your granddaughter pulled up and said, hey, grandma, that's you busting it open? Of course, it's going to be like awkward. Like it's, it's just an awkward thing. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, both of y'all are correct. You know, I understand what he's saying, but I, it's like, you're a grandmother now and your grandkid is coming to you with a naked video of yeah, you. So I, it's just I, like. Yeah, yeah. I think, you know, anytime kids get involved, you know, as you get older, because we mature, right? Because mm -hmm. I don't think maturity stops. Even though we evolve, maturity will never stop. Right. And, it's, and I'm glad this is coming out. And I want a lot of these women who's getting caught on these so-called videos and they're going to, you know, they, now they, they, uh, they the mothers of the church. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, what I, what I would hope, what I would I hope. I hope they had these conversations to their grandkids, but what, I would, what I would hope they, is, that, is that people don't lose jobs and lose opportunities over something they I did back not, in yeah, 1994. That's, that's I think, I think that to, to judge someone in their later age, right, or later in life off of what they did what they was in their, in their 20s is wrong. You understand? Because... We weren't as mature in our 20s. Everybody made mistakes in their 20s. Right. Everybody did wild yeah. shit in their 20s. Mm -hmm. You understand? So to me, I think it's more something to look at. Like, look, look how much I've matured. Look how much I've grown. Yeah, you understand definitely. where I'm coming from? Like, and it isn't always to be looked at as something shameful. Like, we all did crazy things in our 20s, man. Like, I was about to say. it is what it is. I think it's a great conversation piece. Um, I did something. I did see some kind of crazy. I just want to touch on it real quick. So I seen that. Uh, Budweiser was having a, a little issue uh -huh. because they put a transgender, they had a transgender woman on a new ad advertisement on their cans and bottles. A transgender and woman, for those that don't know, is a man that is a woman. <laughs> this guy's crazy. Yeah, but um, yeah, and they're they saying that their sales went down and people will stop taking, uh, a lot of people will stop uh, buying the product because of that. Do you think it's something wrong of the choice? that they choose to put a trans, transgender woman on, on the side of a bottle? I, I don't think that there's something wrong with it. Yanni, please stop making all that noise in the background. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> I don't think that there's something wrong with it, but I think that as a company, you have to know your audience. You I understand? Um, and it's simply, once again, promotion and marketing is to cater to your audience and whoever it is that buys your product. Exactly. You know, um, to kind of totally disregard and betray uh, what you know is your audience just to appeal to the rest of the masses. I don't think that that's always the smartest thing to do, but in the same breath, um, I don't knock them for trying to include everyone, you know, in whatever they're doing. Um, but once again, when I don't know. trying to get a new audience, though? To each his or her own. What do you feel? I agree. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like it's kind of confusing. So I kind of get people. It's just like uh, beer is like more masculine. Like maybe if it was wine. <laughs> yeah, okay. Like you know, that's like fair, it's, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. So I I get it, but it's like, yeah, to each his own. That's what y'all want to do. So she do. just said Caitlyn Jenner, get you a wine and do something. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That's it. Um, so a fan of the show asked me to ask this question. Um also a friend of the show. And the question was, if you had a boyfriend. Okay. Right? And Wait, not to cut you up, but dating and boyfriend, you cannot, I need you. It's not the same. It's not the same. Okay. Let's I'd say if you're over. in a relationship. Okay, let me start over. Fuck y'all. Because <laughs> <laughs> right. I go, I'm very like strict with that. I don't play that. All right. If we dating, we dating. If we in a relationship, we in a relationship. Don't blur the lines. All right, cool. No blurred lines with her. Let me get back to this. So a fan of the show asked me to ask a question and also a friend of the show. 
And that question was, if you are in a relationship and now broken up with the person that you're in the relationship with, but you have in that time became friends with their friends and their friends' girlfriends. And it's a much simple became, way to answer this question. And do, you get, do you get to keep the friends that you made through your partner in a relationship after y'all broke up? <laughs> yeah. Like, why not? So People still, are so territorial nowadays. So you can still go to his mama house? I mean, no. You It's I, like boundaries. Like, if, if he doesn't mind that and if you're in another relationship and your partner doesn't mind you being at your ex mama house, then cool. But if, So let me ask you this then. So one of the questions is, is like, yo, he got his new girlfriend and sometimes when he show up to his friend's house with their significant other, she's now friends. That's kind of weird. With, the, with his homeboy's girlfriend. Right. So he bring his new girlfriend around. And you're there. Like the ex is there. Your ex is there. That's but weird. you introduce them to them. You know what I'm saying? Okay, but so what's the issue though? Because if we exes, then who cares, right? Who cares? Not the like homegirl. What are you saying as far as like his new girlfriend? Like, if how she gonna feel? How do you? I, I, you know, I think it's kind of a sticky situation, right? Because if you Why? have, if you bring, that's childish. Now I don't know if it's childish or not. Because I, I, it is. I, I it's too, a too, difference if, if I'm trying to still over, deal over. with you. Once then it's yeah, over, it's, over. A, it's nah, like it's, it's really, uncomfortable. But not, unless I, unless if, unless if it's right after, then of course I think that there should be a grace period. But if y'all haven't been together in years, bro, like no, it's been it's been right after, but. I also think people are territorial with their friendships. Yeah, but so it's wait, annoying. But wait a minute, time out. Okay. So now, you know, my new lady come around. Okay. You're my ex. Okay. Now you became my ex friend. Okay. And y'all, you and your homegirls are all friends. Y'all all friends. Right. Now I'm trying to introduce it to the group okay. because you're married to my guy over there. Okay. So I'm coming to the crib and I want to introduce it to the group. The group may not accept her. Only because she stay still friends with her, but our relationship, me and you, only have a relationship because me and him is best friends. I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got to do those. Wait, okay. Y'all get what? We're gonna do a scenario. I'm your ex chick. Mm -hmm. She the the thing Wait, is uh, uh, your so new chick. We're gonna do it off camera. We're gonna do something. I'm gonna get it right. Yeah, because because all right, cool. Yanni is Yanni is. Mo's girlfriend, right? Mo's girlfriend, okay. Mo's we girlfriend. all friends. Hold up, Yanni's Mo's girlfriend. Okay. You're my girlfriend. Okay. And he's, that's, I know that's This is so confusing. Because I, I want to say it right so we can get it back. No, we're not going to do it for the show. I'm going to re-say it. So I can know what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, so I want to get moment. it because maybe you'll explain it fucking better than me, bitch. So anyway, so look, okay, cool. Because okay. y'all friends. Right. Me and you break up. Mm -hmm. But me and her still friends. You and her still friends with the other group of friends with his girlfriend that I... How? So, can we record bitch, the show? I'm checking my friends like, hold the fuck up. You yeah, doing too so much. Good. No, yeah, you now it's my so ex, good. nigga, but... The, the, this, the, 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 shit, though. the emperor of time is... <laughs> all right, all right, cool, come on. You got it, fuck All up. right, so I got a question. I got a question for him, though, because he's a little difficult. Okie dokie. Okay? <laughs> you seem like you cool, so... I'll be chilling. I'm going to ask Damn, him. Damn, I don't cool. Matter of fact, what's your sign before we... I'm a sexy Sagittarius, baby. Ooh, all right, this is gonna be good. Okay, so you my honey now, right? And I'm cool with my ex. You know, some guys don't really like that. I've been in a situation with that. I'm cool with like all my exes. I have no issues, mm -hmm. right? Now, it's my birthday dinner. My ex is cool with all my friends, so I felt, and I'm cool with him, so I invited him. How would you feel if you walk into my birthday dinner with me, but my ex is like sitting at the table, like all just lollygagging, chilling, cool? Me? And my new and my friends are kind of like distant towards you because I, I probably wouldn't care. Uh, I, I, I'm too confident when I walk in the room. Like this, that shit won't bother me. Okay. But I think it'd be different if I was a woman and I brought my woman around. Oh, and, so some. No, I think it'd be different if I brought my woman into a room with other women who are now my ex friend. Is that a little sexist? Nah, because me as a man, I can protect myself. My job is to protect my lady. And sometimes I want to I want to make sure my lady's in a comfortable space, so okay. she might be the outcast in the group for the women, you know what I mean? And, and you are outcast wanna, in the group. And I want to be and yeah, but I would want her to be comfortable around my friends. I think my ex need to go get new friends. Maybe she got her friends too, and your friends. Hey, I don't know. You know I, what I'm saying? So I don't know. Yeah, I, that's it how shouldn't I be based on sex. 
I think we need to cut this topic out because this shit is just all over the place. <laughs> no, I think it was good. That was just really good right there. <laughs> I think none of that shit made sense, huh? bro. Was that good? Hell no. It was confusing. I, I, have, a, I have a topic. Can I say a topic? Go ahead. Okay. So I have a question. What do you guys consider dating? Because I've been dating and I feel like people don't understand what it means to date. I saw a TikTok of a girl, right? She showed that she went on two dates in one day. Mm -hmm. And the comments kind of went crazy. Like, oh, like that's disrespectful. Like Dating is just collecting data. That's it. <sighs> you can collect data on, on as many people as you want. I think there's different levels of dating. I think How is it different levels of there's, there's different levels of dating. I think sometimes, you know, you're dating multiple people because you're exploring uh, what's out there and you really don't have one particular person that you're interested in. But then I think there's also another level where you get to know somebody and it's like, okay, we're not in a relationship, but I really want to explore more with this person because I dig them, I like them, I want to see what's possible. And at that point, you may begin to date exclusively. You're not necessarily in a relationship, but you may choose to date exclusively. So that's the thing. Nah, dating exclusively. exclusively is a thing too. Yeah, so what if you dating exclusively, but your honey is not? That's up to her. You know, because so I, I, I know me, I know, I know me personally, if I'm dating somebody, a lot of times if I'm interested, like, I, I don't like to date multiple people. If I'm interested in one person, I'm interested in then one person. Then it's your girlfriend. You, no, it's not. Yeah, that's no, how not. I feel. No, that's not necessarily like, true that? because in the same breath, she doesn't have to do the same. If I'm dating you exclusively, it's because I want to date you exclusively. It has nothing to do so with... So you're okay with her seeing that's, multiple people? Bro, if that's what she wants to do, that's what she wants to do. Oh, that, that's some different... That's I think he's different. like the exception to yeah, the yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah, nobody's going to just be like... He's a little weird. What? But, yeah, I don't see... I don't see a woman... I wish a woman would tell me, yeah, I'm going to date you exclusively, and you ain't got to date nobody, and you can date whoever you want. I've been in situations yeah, like that like, before. I don't yeah, like, I've been in situations like that before where the woman has dated me exclusively, but I had free reign to date whoever the hell I want. Oh, so you was Diddy and she was Carisha. It has nothing to do with Diddy or Carisha. I just... I just <laughs> but, like, you go together real bad. I, like, just, I, just, I just think that... Um, see, this is, this is one of the misconceptions. Like, people think that... Are, are, both people's feelings have to move at the same pace. They don't necessarily I have totally to. I totally agree with you that. You know what I mean? A lot of times, one person, one person always takes more of a gamble than the other. Yeah, but I just feel like when you say exclusive, right? If, a, if when you put that word out there, I just feel like that's more of somebody being your girlfriend or your boyfriend, yeah, right? So. And then when you put that exclusive tag and say, "Yo," I'm, and you tell that person that, I think you apply pressure on that other person who probably don't want that pressure. I think that should be a decision both of y'all making to do together nah. because. Imagine somebody coming to me and going, yo, I just want to date you exclusively. I'm not dating nobody else. Not, now I almost feel pressure like... Yeah, but see, but, yeah, but, once, feel, again, but once again, the dating exclusive has nothing to do with that other person. It's something you may not even let that person know. You want to That's because, cool. Because, because I've been in situations where I've dated a female, you know, maybe nine or ten months. And the conversation comes out later where it's like, yeah, I haven't really seen anybody since I started dealing with you. She wasn't aware of that. That's you, cool. You understand yeah, what? That's a okay. choice that I made. It has nothing to do with you. I'm that's cool. just a choice that I made. Like because right. the thing with me is I just don't like the juggler. I listen. I like my peace. I don't like headaches. So once I'm interested in one person, I tend to lock in on work and whoever I'm interested in, and that's okay. it. It makes life easier for me. No, and I'm cool with that. As long as somebody don't put that expectation on you, no. and they're going. Yo, I'm dating you exclusively. You could do. I don't want nobody to do no, that to me personally. See, I don't want nobody not, to do it to me. But that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is someone making the personal choice. All right, I'm interested in this person. I'm cool. You get where I'm coming from. It has right. nothing to do with you. I may not even let you know. Right. <laughs> you want to no, but in the beginning we thought that it was just kind nah, of. Nah, like, it's not. It's yeah. not this. Like is what you I'm know, doing, like so it was is, like pressure. Nah, nah, nah okay. no pressure whatsoever. Oh, cool. yeah, I see something okay. crazy on IG. Um, I never knew this, so I don't know. It's a fun fact. Mm -hmm. So if you're a woman and you know there's a discrepancy, like men can take off their shirt on IG, show their chest, but a woman can't. They uh, shadow ban you or ban you off the IG, Absolutely. cut you off, right? But I, I, have, I was scrolling on IG the other day and I saw this lady, she was breastfeeding her, her, her child and she had the other breast out just hanging out. I was like, yo, they're going to take her off. And then I seen it again. So I kind of did some investigation, like why is this like coming up? Like, so... According to IG now in Facebook, you can breastfeed your child on IG if it's for uh, educational purposes. So like the lady was showing people how she breastfeed, how she make a child latch onto her, her breast. Um, as long as educational, 
you can do it and you can still have the other breast hanging out. You don't have to cover up the other breast, which I think women could, should be able to breastfeed anyway. But I think, it's all, I think it's always been like that, though. Oh, no. They, I just saw it as a new rule. They just passed it. No, I'm talking about I think it's always been like that in society because it's just like when, <laughs> we were, when we were in high school and we had sex education and you had those textbooks with the pictures of penises and all of that. It's just like when you go into the museum and art mm. with, nudity, with, with nudity. I'm just saying, if it's for um, educational purposes, usually it's more accepted. Not you, true. You get what I'm saying? So like, when, I, when is it like <clears throat> classless? It, but listen, but, like but, I don't know, like a whole titty just hang, like I yeah. just feel like why. So two things I gotta say, that's not true. When I was growing up, I was a teenager, and my my aunt had came up from this country, and I'm just so I'm mad because we didn't know this, like we never thought about courts and stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. And I never forget we went to McDonald's, and my uh she had my niece, um, and uh, my little cousin, I mean, had my little cousin, she was just born, and we went to McDonald's, her, my little brother, and her other daughter. And she had my niece, and when she went to McDonald's, we was in McDonald's, and she took out her breast at McDonald's, and she bought us food, and she fed the baby, who was probably a month or two old, and fed the baby. And she had a little uh, sheet around them, like a little blanket while she was breastfeeding, and the, uh, somebody at work came to McDonald's and said, yo, you can't do that here, right? Mm -hmm. Told us we couldn't do that here. And my aunt was like, are you mad? Like, are you crazy? Because she come from Jamaica. My you can pull hungry. out your breast and mm -hmm. feed your baby anyway. And um, then a manager came and told us we had to leave mm. because she was breastfeeding yeah, her. Yeah, but what you're talking about, what I'm talking about, is two totally up, different later, things. Yeah, but then a law came out later on saying that women was allowed. Guys, I, I remember but that's that. still two totally different things. What I'm speaking what about we, is nudity for educational purposes. When we were in high school. We're talking you, about breastfeeding. Didn't we just talk about breastfeeding? Yeah, but we're also talking yeah, but, about Instagram because now you can show the breast if it's for educational purposes. Purposes, yes, but we're still talking about breastfeeding. So what I'm just saying to you is, first of all, I think a woman should be able to show her breast any way she wants to show her breast. If she want, I don't, I don't know what the difference between the chest and the breast. It's the same thing. One is just longer, one is just not. I, you no, know I, mean? I just feel like if you're gonna, if you're gonna breastfeed, why you gotta have the other titty out? I mean, like, are you bouncing the baby? I think, What's happening? I th like, I think uh, the difference, um, I think the difference between the man and the woman thing is that a bare-chested man doesn't arouse a woman, but a bare-chested woman can arouse a man so and trigger okay. him and trigger okay. certain emotions and drive get, men to do certain things. You don't see a man things. with a sexy chest that I'm like, ooh, you don't get... You don't get nah, you don't. It I'm going some titties nah, and be like... Not oh. the, when you talking about... <laughs> we talk to the wrong one. When you, <laughs> we talk, we yeah. talk, we, yeah, we can't, but when we you can't talk, ask her. But when you talk I mean, about, you might be like, ooh, you got some abs, but it's not... When you talking about these yeah, weird like, dudes out here that be raping women and all of that, bro, like... You, you understand what I'm saying? Like, you can't see him. I feel like we had this conversation on the show before, though. How many women go up to you and touch your chest and be like, you got a nice chest? Or how many women a smack a guy on the butt and be like, oh, I like your butt? It, it's the same thing out there, bro. Is it like a celebrity just throw a drink on somebody for doing that? It, it's just, yeah. Buster, buster, but yeah. it's the same thing out there. So was when that, you say that, that's that, 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 the same thing. What's the it's same a, thing? Women get aroused and women touch men and make comments in men's chest and men's bodies all the time. Bro, it's, it's just too, a double no, standard it's too, thing. To, it's, it is a I, I agree with that because it's not a totally it is, different thing. It is it's a, a double, double standard. standard. Women mm -hmm. are not trying to rape men, bro, because no, they, they see are. a because they see a bitch. That's the problem. Man, like it's so like, like thank you. It's so like thank you for saying that. Okay, like kind of like and it's it's not okay, but. It's okay because it's like you're a man. You're not really gonna like. And that's man, the problem. Because if you it's, grab my ass, it's, it's like, been, nigga, what the fuck? Like, but, it's, listen, but if I grab your ass, me, it's just like. And once again, once again, like, nature's nature, bro. For me, and and maybe this is society. It's been like that since the beginning of time. I don't see nothing wrong with a woman touching no. a man's chest. I don't know. I but I do see something wrong with a man just walking up to a woman touching her chest. I yeah, don't know. Now, I think anybody violating no, anybody's like space, person, yeah, person like, space is a problem, and mm -hmm. that's the problem. And we need to have that conversation. Because we don't have the entire conversation. No, and that, that, it, that isn't cool the problem. The problem is that isn't that else. isn't the problem. The this problem is y'all are starting to begin. Nobody Men and stop. women are not the same, bro. And I keep having this conversation. You with can keep having this the whole thing with y'all thinking that. Guess what? Men and women, it's equal. It's never guess, going guess, to guess be. What, Personal like, space is the same. Oh my God. All right. Bro. Personal space is. the same. No, I'm not. I'm not knocking personal space. It's just this whole. Men and women are supposed to be exact. Yo, no, they're not. It's and they're see, never and going to be. He got to get his conversation together because just the other week when Buster, the same thing happened to Buster. Mm -hmm. He said, "Y'all threw my drink at her too, right?" So you can't feel one way in one one sentiment and not feel the same way in another sentiment. Personal space is personal Bruh, space. Listen to me once again. Like I said, 
men and women are not the same. I, and, I, I, and, I just, and, and, and nowhere am I saying Buster's wrong for, look, to each his or her own. Some men would have turned around and smiled at that. But you also have to understand, how do you compare, like, we have to stop basing regular people's lives off of what celebrities do, right? Buster's a celebrity. Lord knows if he gets his ass grabbed a hundred times a goddamn day and he's tired of that <coughs> shit. Yeah, but you understand? Is... But the average man doesn't take offense to that. So wait a minute. If a stranger okay. would just walked up to you right now and grabbed your ass, you wouldn't have a problem? Bruh, as a man... If I'm gonna a, have a problem. As, as a man, if a woman did... Honestly, I'm gonna turn around and be like, sure, you bugging. I'm gonna walk off. Am I, am I gonna feel violated? No, I'm not. Because it's just... That's so if it was a different part of your body, would you feel violated? As a man, I, I, pro I probably, like I said, I probably would just brush it off and keep it moving. A different what, part of your body. This is, this is, this is the difference between, and, and, and Mita said this when she was here, the difference between men and women in those situations is that when a man does that to a woman, it leaves an emotional scar, bro. You don't think it can leave emotional for scar for, for a dude? Listen, I think I'm, not saying, I'm not saying it can't. What I'm telling you is more, more, it's more likely to leave an emotional scar on a woman than it will a man. I think you have to respect anybody's space. I'm not saying you don't. I'm just showing the difference between and I think if the a two. Woman, and I think if a right. man can be able to take his shirt off, a woman, like be, a, a, woman, woman. A, a woman should be able to take a, have the right to do, do as she please too. I don't, I don't think so because the world does not treat us both fairly. <laughs> you know, and, and I always say this. The different, let me, you hold, think hold a on. woman should have the right? Listen, no, I'm not saying a woman shouldn't have the right. What I'm saying is it is not the same because I'll tell you this. I have three daughters. Right. Mm -hmm. And having daughters has allowed me to see the world through a woman's lens. And it's a scary fucking world for a woman. It is. Because guess what? I could leave a club in the city three o'clock in the morning and I could jump on the train and go home. A woman cannot do that because it's dangerous for her. It's dangerous for you as well. No, no, it's not. Why it's not, not or should I say it's not as dangerous for me? What I will agree with you. Only thing I will agree with you is a woman is probably less likely to protect herself in a situation then a man could probably fight his way out of. Yeah, and I think, and I think, and, that, I, and I think that that's the that, reason. That, that's I that's do, the difference, right? The difference is. But we shouldn't be able to tell them how to move. With when they, a woman grabs me, it's not a. Th I'm not threatened, right? I'm not threatened because there's nothing she can really do to me. Whereas when a woman grabs a man, it's more threatening because it's like, how far is he willing to push this? You get where I'm coming okay. from, and that's why I think that that is more. You know, it's so crazy that but, you say, say mm -hmm. that. I was talking to my, a friend of mine. She worked in the, in the um in the system with uh, 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 with inmates. Uh -huh. And she was like, yo, so much of the women that do murders, they get so much more time than their male counterparts just because of that thinking. The, the judges take more time, give them more time for murder than guys that give a guy like, you know, parole or less years. Because they're more dangerous. Because they know, they feel like a woman, when she Wouldn't does that, do that, would normally do that. So she get based um, on- um, You said, well, woman what? They wouldn't normally do normally that. Normally, like it's not like do that. the norm. So if she, once she does something like that, it's like it makes them more of a menace. It makes them more, more, more dangerous. Yeah, more dangerous. Yeah. And it's crazy. They looked at that because they look looked as as that because of society. And I I don't. I was that's like, that's crazy. Up. I never even thought about nothing like that. That's that kind of crazy too. Up. So at some point, we gotta have some. I don't know. We gotta have some balance out here and some and some. I don't love. think it's ever gonna get like that though. I don't think so either. Oh, and, I, and I don't. I, listen, the, we can the, debate it all day. I think but I once think again, feminism has made us go on this like journey to see men and women as men and women will never be equal. We are not the same. We are not built the same. We don't react the same. Bro, I we mean, will... I don't think it's like we like an equal thing. I think it's like certain things should be. Yeah, you know, listen, like... I think the playing field should be level. Right. I think that women should have the rights that men have. But what I'm saying is like when we're like, oh, well, because men could do this, women should be able to or, or, or women should should be held liable the same way men are. It's not the same. I'm sorry. It's never been the same. It's never been the same as far as that's concerned. And I think I just think that when it comes to things like that, like, yo, we're just. We're evolving to a point where we think that we can outdo the way that God meant for things to be. Like, wow, it's been like a yeah. time. We ain't saying that on Fox Soul. You say outdo what God meant to be, that's gonna be a whole can of whip ass. But that's, bro, that's, <coughs> I hear you. How's that a can of whip ass? Sarah, I didn't. Huh? Did you say women get charged more for crime and passion than men? Yeah. They get, they get more time, not more, not more charges, more time. Heavier sentences. Oh, Heavier sentences. Passion? Yes, and, and for, for sentencing. Now, I don't know. She was telling me the sentences is more. But 
Real quick, we, we, Bob Foss Swaff can fix that other shit. So on other news, I seen this was kind of crazy. They say Colombian crack is back. Is what does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. What does that mean? I, I don't know. Like did they get a letter? Did, did they get what a letter in the stop? mail? Like did they see a flyer that said, "Yo, Colombian crack"? crack what does that back. mean? Yo, I didn't even know niggas still smoke it. Who's selling crack? Niggas, niggas still smoke crack. <laughs> I ain't see crack. Yo, bro, I know a lot of. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, I don't know nobody dealing So what's the difference between, because I know the cartel had the lock on coke for a minute, so what's the difference between Colombian crack and Mexican crack? It's all coke. It's the same shit. Same shit. I hear you. Uh, but who's smoking crack? People Ooh. still out there. People do smoke crack. People do smoke crack. But they crack. smoking, there's still crack vials and like... I mean, I be seeing them outside in Brooklyn. What? Mm -hmm. People I smoke see crack, crack violence. Yeah, I've seen them. people. A lot of people smoke crack out of town, though. Like, I see a lot of people like on dope, dope fentanyl. I see them on like drugs like that. I ain't pills, mollies, and I, that's I, the old throwback crackheads. They don't. They... <laughs> Yo, we get crack to come back in this town. It's gonna be crazy out here in the streets, man. It's gonna be scary. Pandemonium, be. Mm -hmm. I don't know. If people remember what crack did to the community. That, that was a different type of drug, be. Well, see, you don't want that because... I mean, fentanyl is kind of giving that K2 and all that. On yeah, Myrtle, but... you got zombies. Zombies on Myrtle. And, and, and you got the fact that um, drugs is more accepted by the younger generation now. You see, when we were yeah, growing up, the most that we were doing was weed. You know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong. You had dudes smoking woolly blunts in the 80s. But once you hit the 90s and the 2000s, dudes wasn't doing nothing other than weed. And now I think... Doing drugs is more accepted, man. You got dudes shooting up heroin and all of that these days. At parties, straight up. Like. Yeah, yeah, so. So, so I got two quick questions for you. Have you ever, one, have you ever heard of the Passport Bros? The what? Passport Pas Bros. Passport Bros. No. That's the guys that go out the country to look for women because they feel like American women are just not it. They're not it and they're not, uh, you know, they're not submissive enough. So they go out to look for women to do what? You know, women uh, to be in relationships to marry. To marry. Oh. For relationships and stuff Never like that. Never heard of that. Yeah, so they got a country. So I would tell you, I was in, I've been, I've been out the country a few times, but I, I've been spending time in um, in Colombia this last past past couple of months. I've been there like two or three times. And um, I don't know, <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you, man. Like if I made an honest statement, I don't know why men fight for women that they do here, like they do. Like you, there's twenty Beyonces, twenty Ciaras, twenty. There's there's a hundred uh, Holly Berries, and it, the conversation. Even though sometimes it can be transactional, but I do know a lot. She of, said sometimes <laughs> it can be transactional. Be, I'm gonna be honest. I'm Wait, gonna, I'm trying I'm, to follow you here. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, but I do have a lot of friends that stay in Colombia, like stay there, live there, and won't come back. One because the cost of living is dirt cheap. Two. The women, they just, I don't know. They, we they talking like the about Beyonce. the passport bros. Yeah, they like the Beyonce. Like so you say the passport like, bros, the yeah. passport players, <laughs> the passport bros stay in the country that they going to see these Or they women. even stay or they find a wife and bring her back to the States. Okay, so what's the question you want to ask me? Like how I feel about that? Yeah, how you feel about men going out to other places to find more, I guess, feminine, feminine women? I feel like do what the fuck you want to do. Are you offended uh, by that? Yeah. Absolutely not. Maybe I should go with them. <laughs> We're talking to the wrong person. Yeah. <laughs> no, honestly, like I just feel like I just feel like how can I be offended that you're making a choice to do what you want to do? Like, because I'll tell you why. Because these days women are allowed to have a preference, right? Well, a woman could say, "I don't want a broke man." A woman could say, "I don't want a tall. I, I want a tall man. He has to be over six feet." But the second a man has a preference. He's either being misogynistic or he's shaming or he's this. It's like men aren't allowed to have a preference. So when a man goes, American women are too masculine for me and I want to go out the country and find me a woman that's more feminine, a lot of times black women turns that into something, a, him, him hating his race and <laughs> all types of other things. Okay, so are we talking about American women or black women? Because you, you said both. So who are we talking about? Both. Have to, both. Both. Okay. So me being an American black woman, but you said, like, it's, it goes back to what you said, we're not equal. So you see how you're saying, like, we are able to say that and it's no issue, but mm -hmm. as soon as you say it, it's an issue, mm -hmm. we ain't equal. Like, you, know, you see what I'm saying? Like, it's just never going to... I understand man, that. You can't please everybody. Um, yeah, yeah, de definitely. Like, you know, my, my thing is this. I just never understood how you're upset at someone 
because you're not that cup of tea. Right. That's <laughs> like, what I'm saying. Just, like, weird. personally, I just really, I know women that probably would care about that. Like, I've, in my whole household, that's an argument. Like, you know, we always, that kind of comes up a lot. And it's just like, they, the girls be kind of like, you, you switched his eyes. And it's just like, why? Like, that's what he wanted to do. Exactly. Why you want to even? Why you want to be with a nigga that don't? Exactly. Like girl, I, I love your answer though. I, I love your answer. So I got a quick question for you because I, I need you to tell your story too that you want to tell. But I want to ask <laughs> you this question. Yeah, because I'm interested in hearing what the story. Is. <laughs> Do you think nowadays women would pass up on a good man for money, gifts like purse, mm -hmm. purses, bags, trips, because they have somebody that could provide that for them? And give that to them, but it's not necessarily a good dude, and mm -hmm. the guy that could just provide, you know, necessities. That, would you you think women give up on good dudes because of that? Yeah, so absolutely. That? It's like I I feel like I kind of blame everything on social media. I really truly <laughs> do because it's it's the norm now. Like it's just like okay, I'm gonna get me this scam this drug dealer to, to you know I want a, I want a nice bag. I want a nice. You can want nice things, but it's like. I don't know. I don't want to be a hypocrite because it's like I'm. I'm not going to date nobody that can't do what I can do. Like you know what I'm saying. Like it's like if if you're. I feel like I was taught a man is supposed to protect, provide. And Let me lead, ask you a question. Right. Go ahead, go ahead, so go ahead, finish your thought. Will I date a target dude? Like absolutely not. And and I you're probably like the best person in the world, but I would never know because I'm not even gonna. We, what do we have to talk about? I want to, I want to. Um, like, what do we really have to talk about? So like, man. I can provide from young. I never even had to, but that's just how so I've man. always been. I can provide X, Y, and Z for myself. So and let me ask you, you a question. The challenge in that to me sometimes, though, and, you know, I'm not putting down my, my hustlers and stuff like that. A lot of these guys, they even wind up dead or in jail, right? So now you stuck back by yourself or going back to square one. When you can find somebody or a good dude who working, working their way up and help build each other up, so y'all can build your own foundation. That doesn't seem more feasible or fit, you know what I'm saying, to find but somebody. But I just feel like at 27, I'm not going, to, I'm just not even like, me and somebody in Target is just I not going to work. Like, we're not, because at, okay, so <laughs> let's say he started working in Target when he was 25. At 25, I wasn't even thinking about applying to Target. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why did you even think about applying me, to Target? Let, because let me, that's just what you wanted to do, right? Let me, let me, but let me tell you the it's reality. It's nothing wrong with that, but it's just, but you have me, to deal, date somebody that's just me, on your level right. or higher. But let me tell you the reality. Especially a man. But, how, but wait, 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 wait. I just want to say something. That's just truly how I felt. Wait, wait, but let me just, but wait, wait, wait. But let me just like, tell, my mama dealt with. You, but let me just tell you the reality. I was like, I'm going to just tell you the reality because social media is creating this unrealistic expectation, right? The reality is 60% of Americans make less than $60,000 a year, right? 82% 82 of Americans make less than 100,000 a year and 92% of Americans make less than 150,000 a year. And I think that everybody's talking about how messed up the dating pool is. And I'm gonna tell you why the messed up, it's so messed up. It's because 80% of women are after 8% of men. Right? And, and women keep saying that there's no good men out there because y'all are overlooking 92% of the men that are out there. But not, no, but <laughs> you're still, you still you shouldn't be, how you like, you, you, have, you have standards, right? Correct. Okay, so now, you being the accomplished man you are, right? Mm -hmm. You're dating an accomplished woman, right? Not necessarily, because I'll tell you this, and this is where men differ, right? Where men differ <coughs> is from me, I could care less what a woman makes. Right? As long as she has drive, she has ambition, she doesn't necessarily have to be there at that point. Right? Um, as long as a woman is nurturing, I'm good. Because, okay. and, and I always say this, like as a man, and this is what women don't realize, right? You're an untappable resource because you can make all the money in the world. I cannot depend on you. I can't use your money because then I become a bum. <laughs> you understand? Okay. So no matter what you make doesn't matter to me because you're a resource that I can't even tap. But we're not even talking about what... What so was he make? It's so just like I get, like I said, she has that driving ambition. Because you had said something, you was like, he's not on your level, right? A person that works in Target. My thing to most women, but you want a man who's making a certain amount of money. What makes you on his level? If you're not making what he's making, you can't go buy him the car that he could buy you, or get you the jewelry or the house that he could get you. What makes you on his level? Good question. But I also said a man is supposed to what? Protect, provide, and lead. Okay. And, and so what, it's like, 
But that's it. Okay, cool. And what's your job? And you went to, I just want to, I'm just asking questions. That's, what's your job, one? And then the other question I have to that, are you supposed to, is a man supposed to do that for who? His girlfriend, the person he's dating, or his wife? Mm, that's a good question. Um, mm. I don't think at 27 you're trying to be nobody's wife, but go ahead. Okay, so, <laughs> damn. When you put it like that, I mean, yeah, it should be your wife, your girl, like your girlfriend and your wife. I feel like that's cool. It shouldn't, it don't have to be somebody you're dating. But I'm not a man. I'm speaking from a woman point of view. So <laughs> now okay, we cool. gonna talk. Let's get into it, okay? <laughs> now put some sunglasses. Go ahead. <laughs> me as a woman, right? Mm -hmm. You want your laundry done? You, I gotta sleep with you when you want me to sleep with you, right? We, I gotta sleep I'm with just, you when you want me to sleep with you. Hold on, boss. Pause, 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 pause. <laughs> I have to do your laundry. I gotta sleep when you sleep with you Nobody when you does want. My laundry, though, I have ahead. to. I got drop off service. Nobody does my laundry. I've never seen that. Done. I mean, okay, America, we're different age groups. So I'm speaking from the 27 year old pool. Okay, cool. These young guys, first of all, I'm gonna just put this out there. The young guys now do not act nothing like my daddy. How my daddy was treating my mama? Yeah, okay. no. That's it's a whole different ball game. Okay, cool. So That's you fair. gotta do their laundry. They you're want you to be. You talking about the eight percent? The eight percent that you're focusing on. The other ninety-two percent who are good that are working in Target probably would treat you like your daddy. Well, I wouldn't know, cause I just feel like <laughs> I like my daddy gave me nice things. So the Target nigga, I like to go out to eat. Yeah, but your father and also his works paycheck out. is not gonna cover my eating ass that I wanna go out to eat. Probably like three, four times out the week. I eat out a lot. But that's just what I was, t you know, from young. Like, my mama could cook, but my daddy was, he was getting money. So it was nothing for us. I was eating lamb chops from a little girl. Like, I was eating steak for dinner. Like, I was crab legs. Like, so, so you, you, go ahead, I just, you, you know, like, I just expect a certain thing. And I know, like, I wouldn't even put myself in that position. Not saying that he can't grow, but it's like, come to me I don't want a nigga with potential. Come to me, potential. <laughs> question. So, so that that, like, that I don't I, know was a word. That, 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 <laughs> but that, but that, leads, that leads me with a question. So, what what defines a good man to you? Um, definitely a man that does not put his hands on you. That's for one. Um, a good man is someone who can take accountability, like for his actions. A good man is someone who protect, provide, and lead. I'm gonna keep saying that. So, question. So, question to you. Does the man who's a millionaire who is willing to spend ten, twenty, thirty thousand on you because that money's nothing to him, is he a better man than the man who makes fifty thousand dollars a year but is willing to spoil you to the best of his ability where he's making sacrifices to do so? Who's the better man? Um, I feel like why why does he because okay, so the guy that has fifty thousand dollars, like fifty thousand dollars, how is he a better man because how is, how is he a how better is man it, than the guy that with because, a million dollars because, just because? Because he makes because he's making sacrifices. A man that's a man that's but that don't mean wait wait wait. Is not a good well, listen, a man he just got a it. man that spends on you because it means nothing to him because it's nothing. Isn't really in, it, it, that's not an investment. You want you well, understand where I'm like coming this. from? So <laughs> the person who gets up every day because he has to provide and protect for his family. Every single day he gets up knowing that I got to put bread on the table. I got to put clothes on her back. I got to take care of my kids. I don't want to live in struggle, America. Look, hold on, I'm sorry. sorry. I hear you. So, <laughs> I don't feel like niggas <laughs> like that to be dealing with no shit like that. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm, cool, no, that's fine. I I'm cannot. not judging you. I'm just asking you a question. Because that person is getting up every day to do it. It's a difference when you just have it. Like... When my money all crazy, I don't care what I go to the store buy the whole shit. I don't. I'm not thinking about it. Mm -hmm. It's no effort for me. So I'm doing it. Oh, she want that? Let's go get it. I don't care. You ain't a bad man though. You just got it. Yeah, but it's not necessarily. I'm doing it for you. Exactly. Because I'm because I can. Because I right, can. Right. But so what? Do you want somebody who's gonna work their ass off for you and be there for you emotionally, financially, or somebody that's gonna be like, yeah, shorty, I, you know, I scammed this yesterday? Because as soon as the better looking chick comes, guess what? Peace, and he's gonna be doing it for her. That's the reality. I mean, because his heart was never for you. Because exactly. Okay. She's like, I, <laughs> she's like, I'll, I'll take it. I take, I'll take, I'll take it. it. I mean, because we can see it. I mean, I'm gonna say because I feel like a lot of girls would have sat in this shit and really lied. Like you know, get what I'm saying? Like, what you saying the scenario like that, mm -hmm. or they would have sat here and lied and be like, oh, I'm gonna go with the fifty. I'm not. 
I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm just not, like, I'm just not. Yo, I, I just, I'm just no, not. I, and I appreciate you keeping it real. Sometimes I, I just be wondering what's going to happen to the generation um, later on. Because, you know, a lot of young girls, I feel like sometimes don't know, they don't realize they get old. Right? And what happens when somebody asks you out to get the next young person and now when you start back from scratch, now you're going to want the fifty the $50,000 dude to, 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 to take care of you, support you at that time? What do you do to ensure that... No, you... but see, I'm talking like that because I I just told you, like, I take I do certain things for myself. You get what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I never even get with a dude because of what he got. Like... A hundred percent. Like, you know what I'm but saying? Like, I want 100%. you to, no, I want you to, like, <laughs> be able to provide for me, but I'm not, like, OD looking for that because I know I can provide for myself. But I'm not going to date you if you can't provide for me. Well, like, look, I respect your honesty. And there's nothing, and there's nothing wrong, wrong with wanting yeah. a man that can provide. There's absolutely nothing, nothing wrong, wrong with that. that. But, um, you know, we're not, we're, we're we're not kids, so love ain't enough anymore, right? But I do believe that love should play a part and a man's character should play a part because a lot of times, <coughs> you know, women choose men simply by what they look like on paper. And I think that that's why women end up in, in bad situations, simply because, you know, the man... And made... sometimes we choose women because they didn't say, like But you didn't say the millionaire was an asshole. You just said that he, he just spending it because he got it. Now, if you would have said, all right... Um, the guy who got fifty thousand dollars, he woke up. But do you he provide, like you know? But do you realize you that say, by dating a millionaire, the odds are already against you, because he's a man that's in very high demand that every other woman is after as well. Like, I was like that's cool. No, that is cool. But I'm just, <laughs> She's I'm like just, that's cool. I'm just saying. <laughs> that, do you understand it? I'm heavy on the. I'm not like. I, I'm, I don't know, I'm a different type of female. Like, I just feel like I'm on earth to experience people. So it's like, when it's my time to experience you, I'm going to do just that. I'm not about to think too hard about it and mm -hmm. be like, you know, we're, we're, we were put on this earth to have heartbreaks, to be in love, to be nah, poor, it, to be rich. It's like, not about that. I mean, I'm here to just live my life. You're young, live. you're young, but in another 10 years, what you're going to realize is you can't continue to waste time with people. So it's like, yeah, you spent... But how was it wasting time? Because you spent... I had my year with you. I understand. That's you, cool. You spent one, two, three years with this person, and then boom, on to the next. You spend another three, four, five... And don't get me wrong, that's, that's all a part of life, because it's all a part of experience, it's all a part of learning, it's all a part of gaining wisdom. But you will get to a point in the age in your life where you're going to feel like, I no longer have time to waste, because my clock is ticking. So let it tick. What do you... Like, what's the... Tick like, what? Why do you? I gotta, I gotta the problem up. is like, what? Why? Like, okay, so you saying like I don't got time to waste? You don't got time to waste for what? For marriage? Like, what you don't got time to no, waste? No, you what? know, to bring up my man, rest in peace, Kevin Samuels. Um, <laughs> oh my no, no, no. I'm, I'm just saying. This shit. I'm just saying, Kevin, Kevin Samuels. <laughs> Kevin Samuels always used to say. Kevin Samuels was like fucking Samuels asshole. Kevin always used to say, he said, he said that's the one thing he never understood with women because in their 20s, when they're at their prime, right, mm -hmm. they have their highest market value because that's when they look their best. That's when, you know, their bodies are at their best, whatever, whatever. The, all the things that would attract a man the most, right? That's the time when they're not looking for a relationship, but then when they get into their 30s and their 40s, when they're beginning to kind of, you know, their market value is beginning to drop, this is when now... Now you want a man to marry you when it's like, okay, but your market value isn't as high anymore. You know, he's just say, he was just saying that a lot of, that, that when it comes to that women kind of thing backwards, it's like when that, you're... That is backwards. Yeah, like when, you're, when, you're, when your value is at its highest, it's when you should be looking for that yeah. man. You know? I, gotta, I, I just feel like even when I'm 60 years old or 80, I'm going to be the same way. Like, you know, like it just is what it is. First of all, at 80, like why are you even thinking about trying to find a man out here? Like, man, I'm going to be worrying about if I got diabetes and shit. Hopefully not. Hopefully Hope, not. Like, I'm not going to... You get what I'm saying? Like, at 80, why you... I feel like good. at 80, you're not even going to be thinking about that. You're going to be trying to make sure yes, your grandkids are good I, and I, shit. I, like, I got a quick question, though, because I want to straight from the topic, but I want to get into this other piece of this topic because I I want to I want to know something, right? So, I was in the gym the other day. Well, I'm in the gym all the time, so... Really? Yeah, yeah. When I go to the gym, I, I noticed that a lot. Do you work out? I tried for like two weeks. It was an epic fucking fail. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, my question is: Sometimes I go to the gym. I see a lot of the women in the in the gym. Sometimes, in the tights, right? You know, and they got the new tights with. They got the little circle. Oh with, yes, with that, that shit. Oh my god. Make your butt look bigger and yes. all that. Mm -hmm. And I see a lot of girls sometimes come with full fledged makeup. 
Like, oh my they God. got the it's lips, like, girl, the, the lips gloss doing? on, the lipstick. It's the, irritating. The, 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 uh, the, 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 they vlogging. The, yeah, right? They got all that stuff on. And sometimes some women get offended if a man approaches them or talks to them or stares at them. And, you know, I ask myself sometimes, why do you fuck did you come to the gym? Did you come to work out or did you come to find somebody and why are you mad when somebody look at you when you come that way? So I want to know if I went to the gym and I pulled out a pocket full of money, right? Mm -hmm. Every time I came in, I had a couple of hundred, I had a couple of twenties. Should I be insulted if a woman say, hey, how you doing? I don't think it's the same. Why not? Because I think a lot of times women put on makeup just because they want to feel good about themselves. It's not. It doesn't have anything to do with Yeah, but you see the type, like a girl had the whole no, I get out, like I, the other I, I day in this gym. And I'm like, yo, why would you come here like that? Like, mm -hmm. and, now, and I'm not saying to get, uh, you know, touched in any kind of way. I'm just saying if somebody goes up to you and say something to you, but now you put yourself out there. I think if I walk in the room with this tuxedo on, nice suit, a woman gonna say, "Yo, how you doing, chocolate?" You know what but I'm did saying? you but did you throw the suit on because you wanted to attract a woman, or did you just throw the suit on because you wanted to feel uh, good about both. yourself? Because I know, because yeah, I know, I know with me, bro. Like I get dressed the way I get just because I like to feel good about myself. Nah, I'm not necessarily out there looking for not, anybody. I don't know right. if men really do that because men, we. Our stand is, is a lot of times why we got the fly car, the jewelry. So if that's the case, then when you're in a relationship, like no matter how, so when you're in a relationship, no matter which way the cookie crumble is just a. So when you're in a relationship, you dress like a bum, huh? So when you're in a relationship, you dress. I think some people do. I think this up. That's why some people do do it. That's why the relationship. Oh my god, it's so irritating. Like what the fuck? You didn't look like that before. Damn, you catfished me. What the fuck is going on here? I gotta put that shit on. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think when men go outside, we do look for that attention sometimes. You know, we do go outside. Shit. But if you pull out a stack of money and she come up to you, you would be offended? Huh? Would you be offended? You said if you was in the, no, in no, the no, gym said, no, and no, you no, pulled no, no, out a stack saying. of money. If and I pulled she out a stack of money every day in the gym and came out every day in the gym with a stack of bread and, some, and women start to talk to me more, should I feel offended? No, I'm about, I know why they're doing it. Exactly. So I'm saying to you, if a woman comes out with the new pants, because they got these new pants, like... I, I don't know what they are. And then You know what I hate with girls? They fucking delusional. It's just too Like you know what you're doing. Stop playing games. Like they'll just come to the gym and You got on makeup and your coochie yeah. out. You like stop playing games. Yeah, I, I don't stand understand. Stand on it. You know what I'm saying? Just stand That's, on it. Uh, I, I hate like stop playing games. So you had the story to tell. I just want you to tell oh your my story. God. Yeah, please, please tell your story. I love my honey. <laughs> Go ahead, tell your story. Don't be shy now, nigga. I mean, we was talking about the um the um the date rape drugs. <laughs> I don't know about no different. <laughs> we I wouldn't talking, watch that. I don't like it. We was talking about the honey and all yeah, that. Uh -huh. And I was telling you about the the like the herbal stuff. Okay. So there's this spot in Harlem, right? Mm -hmm. I was minding my business. I went to go get um Sylvia's. Mm -hmm. I was today mm -hmm. years old when I found out about Sylvia's. I'm gonna put that out there. Mm -hmm. I fell in love with Sylvia's. Why we are Sylvia's? oh, why we are Sylvia's um, my honey, his friend was telling him, mind you, his friend is in jail, so I don't know why the fuck we listen to them anyway, because he already made bad decisions. <laughs> Okay. So he told us, um, I was already drinking, so I was already a little tipsy. You know, I'm like like a little lusty and stuff. So he was like, oh, it's a spot right by Sylvia's. They got like herbal, like sexual mm. drinks. Like, okay. So we get there. It's like a real life juice bar, like an organic juice store. So we get there. They got like these black shots. Um, I think she said it was garlic. Uh, black macaroon and it was something else and then they had a drink for the men it was a big ass nutcracker bottle with I don't know what the fuck was in it now right I took honey before I just told you the honey didn't work for the neck it didn't work for the dude mm -hmm. it didn't work for me it was just like so I'm thinking like they fucking chatting chow we drunk the we I took the shot in front of the store he drunk some of the drink in front of the store and like on the way we didn't even make it to Brooklyn what you mean like we was doing the damn thing. Like y'all just got that around on the street. Y'all like, just got that around. Yeah, it was crazy. On the street, damn. I promise you. On the on the street, like I want to go to that block. And Where, what block? <laughs> <laughs> it's so, where is that? You said it's next door to Sylvia. It's no, it's a it's like a run. Where is that? <laughs> what street is this? It's called three. Uh, what is called? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we didn't make it back. I want to go to the juice store. So, would, would I didn't around. judge him, so that went back to, yeah, we were, like, super, like, super kinky. Like, I'm talking about, like, I just was like, give it to me. Like, where, where this place at, man? It's in Harlem. I'm going to say nigga, give three, me the fucking address, three, man. Three, some shit. <laughs> but I'm not, like, I'm a real, like, 
when I drink, I'm like sexual. I'm, I feel like that's anybody. Like, you know, a little bit more lusty, a little mm -hmm. bit more like courageous, you know. Brave but that I. shit right there, y'all gotta, you gotta like. But it went back to your question because you was like, would I judge him if he take like honey and Viagra? Mm -hmm. And it's like, I didn't judge him when he wanted to drink that drink. Like that was friend, you, my his man. Friend, his friend told us like it's for so his sex. So didn't really make his friend didn't really make a bad decision. Like he, he really gave yeah, me, but I didn't judge him. So that's why I said I guess it depends on what it what it what it is. I y'all just gotta give me the address to the store before y'all leave here. Yeah, I you can't need leave. that. But I, I feel I'm like you should take it at your own risk. I don't. Listen. He want to risk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm risking everything. Take it at your own risk. So last thing I want to ask you: just give us three things that you don't like. Um, I do not like disrespect like okay. at all right like, there just, with you i just cannot because i just feel like you don't have to like me you don't have to respect me but don't disrespect me okay don't like disrespect um i do not like nasty ass fingernails because i don't want to talk crazy on here you can talk crazy on here yeah my fingernails good bitch. I, and my toes too. is better than this toes. women so you my, know women yeah, do a lot of why do, you, why do you always have to compare uh, yourself because that's me because my toes are better than I feel like it's always some secret too. competition. Let me though. see. My toes better than your toes. Let me see. Nah, I ain't showing you. <laughs> nah, people fall in love when they see my feet, but go ahead. Oh, please. <laughs> I want to see you when this camera is on. Um, yeah, I do not like nasty finger, fingernails. Like, it's just, it's a no for me. I'm going to have to pass. And um, I don't like guys without a beard. It just gives pedophile. I'm sorry. What's going on? Y'all niggas don't got a beard. I'll send it to me. <laughs> I don't like guys without a beard. It just, I don't know, it just drives me crazy. Every dude I've dated, I made them like grow like a beard. Like, well, I shout just, out to the girl just... that made me grow a beard. Did a girl make you grow a beard? Yeah, well, she made me keep it. I grew it and she was like, oh, you keeping that beard and I just never got rid of it. No, shout out to real. Jennifer. She, thank you. <laughs> she said thank you. <laughs> I'll never get rid of it. And that's my three things. All right, yo, man. Oh, and I don't like okra. I'm going to throw that in there. You don't like okra? Uh, okra. No. Okay, okra. Go you West Indian, how you feel about that? I didn't like it as no, a child. No, he's West Indian and Cuban. Yeah. So but get it Jamaicans right. like okra. Yeah, now, now I do. Now I, now I tolerate it. Before I could never eat it. Okay. I used to throw it in the, spit in the tissue with my mom. Yeah. Can't. I can't do okra. That's like Kalaloo. Kalaloo's kind of slimy. Yeah, like. Kalaloo? I like Kalaloo, though. Kalaloo? Yeah, Kalaloo, man. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's crazy. Yeah, Kalaloo. Kalaloo's not good. I know Kalaloo's kind of slimy. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. It's not true, but I don't know what he's talking about. But look, man, this has been another episode of Brooklyn Boys Radio. Yo, yo, yo. We want to thank our special guest. Pretty Dej. Uh, you know no, what I mean? No, no. Leave, Pretty Dej. Hold up. Leave all your Instagram <laughs> handles up there. Say everything that people need, where they can where, find, where, where you, they can find you at. And whatever music you got coming or what you got out now, please just let the people know before we leave out. Okay. Y'all can follow me on all social media platforms at I am Pretty Dej, D-I-J. Bomb. Um, I got a couple of songs out, so make sure y'all tune into all of them on all streaming platforms. He wants um, to feature on your make, next joint. Yeah? I'm a, you gonna give me a freestyle after this? No, I'm gonna sing, baby. Oh, I, you give a singer. <laughs> oh my God, say, say that one song you want to say, love and play down the hand day day. What? What song is this? Make sure y'all stream Make It Hot and Drumstick. Holla. We outside. Make It Hot and Drumsticks. Make It Hot is my new single. Okay, what's Drumsticks? Drumsticks is a single I put out before making. What is about? Drumsticks. It's um so I sampled E through that girl, mm -hmm. and it's like a a drill sample, but it's like fun too. Like it's okay. like are you rapping about drill. killing people? So yo go check. Um, yeah, it's drill. I'm not really rapping about about killing people, but I'm like I slap that hoe. Okay. Like, you know, with right, the whoop that trick. What? Yeah, go check out Miss Pretty G's, man. And we just want to thank y'all. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. Shout out to the yes. Wood Stays 8. Let's get it. Do a bitch ass wall, but I can't see nothing here. And E Legendary, <laughs> you left your kids is here because I ain't got nothing to say to you. And look, Z's always come out for the shout out. You are nobody, my nigga. Keep going. Yo. <laughs> Yanni, what up? What? Bring us some food. Don't come here empty. Yanni! Yanni got the and drinks. And shout out to the kids. Word. With that said, Brooklyn, we out. We out.